All right, so in the last video, we talked about the four pillars of performance, the core four, which is the physiological, the psychological, the technical, and the tactical. And these are the four main areas when it comes to really performance in any sport or really any domain. It could be on the business side, uh, it could be in, you know, in a different profession, but we're gonna talk about it on the baseball side of things. And I really like to start guys off on the physiological, which is really everything encapsulating the physical and the body. So this is the strength conditioning, this is the nutrition, this is the recovery, this is your uh, rehab exercises, you know, your movement, your mobility, all these kinds of things that make up your body. And this is a deep subject that we could really talk about in depth for many different videos. Today, what we're gonna really just gonna cover, and you know, I've got a board behind me that you can probably see that um, I put together recently a workout for some of our baseball boys here and let, I'm going to walk you through kind of the different pieces of different layers of what we do for our typical workout routine and some things that may or may not that you may or may not already be doing in your workout routine. So let's take a look at that and see how it stacks up to where you're at and understand that all of the pieces of this are interchangeable and really should be customizing where you're at, where your body's at, what you need, and that the stuff here isn't necessarily what you need to be doing. If you want something, uh, you know, a more of a kind of a structured workout program, by all means, leave a comment below. Uh, we're here in October, middle of October right now. Today's actually Friday the 13th and get, getting geared up for the spring season. I mean, that's coming right around the corner before you know it. So guys should already be getting into their fall off season training program. So if you're looking for something like that, leave a comment below and I'll put something special together for you guys. So let's take a look at this. All right. So uh, hopefully, you know, this green might with this lighting here might be a little bit off. If it is, I apologize. But we're starting out with the rollout. This is our soft tissue work kind of your self massage side of things. Usually we're using a lacrosse ball for that. Don't worry about all the specifics of this. It's really the big kind of categories of the session. So I've really broken this one down into seven different pieces. So the first one, we start off with the soft tissue work, just rolling out, getting that moving better, working in through any knots, adhesions, that side of things. Then we're gonna go, I call it the flows and activations. This is kind of our dynamic warm up with our prehab, any kind of corrective exercise, getting different muscles activated that typically not being used as much on guys that we need to get working. So the glutes, the scaps, uh, the deep, uh, like the obliques and your core muscles, some of those areas that typically guys just, when they work out, they're just doing biceps, they're just doing forearms, they're just doing quads, you know, isolation exercises, and they're missing out on all these big pieces that have very important, uh, really it's just very important to be using the body as a whole and not just working in one part at a time, okay? so. We've got basically a kind of dynamic warm-up side of things. I took these guys through uh, a few different exercises that I'm not gonna be able to cover in this video, but some unique stuff that I think more players should be doing. I'll share some of those exercises in the future. Then we went into some arm care work, uh, just a lot of scap exercises, A's, T's, and Y's, uh, really teach them how to activate some of that stuff and getting all of the shoulder muscles, your serratus, your rotator cuff, uh, your lats, getting all these muscles working and trying to stabilize while they're moving through these exercises. Too many guys just do basic band exercises like this and your rotator cuff it is really more of a stabilizer than it is an accelerator. And when you're doing these, you're just trying to really strengthen the rotator cuff, but we need to be doing them in a more dynamic way, in a way that is supporting the shoulder and your shoulder blade while it's moving, okay? so. Uh, did, took them through some arm care work, and then we did our speed and our power work. So we took them through some jumps, took them through some sprints and some hops, some med ball side of things. So the one I call the athletic gate. So G A I T, not gate like a you know gate or a door. The athletic gate is sprints, hops, skips, jumps, bounds, all of these running and athletic movements that players should be doing. So we skip forwards, backwards, side to side, shuffles, all these kinds of different movements we're doing full in basically every direction possible. Because when you're in a game. When you're on the field, you're, you need to be able to move at any direction, any point in time, wherever you need to go, all right? The strength side of things, okay? So it's kind of the meat and potatoes of most workouts that most people will go to, and they may not do this stuff up here. Or they may do like a warm up and then skip 
the speed and the power work and go straight to this or however it is. With the, I like to really make sure the guys are hitting all of these seven pieces of, of a good workout routine. Some, some of the other things we'll add into here uh, that it's, it's noted in here is some breathing exercise. So really teaching the body how to use the diaphragm, how to breathe deeply before we really start ramping up all, and this is part of the deep core stuff that I was talking about earlier, before we start ramping up all the workouts because every rep that you're doing, you're increasing your heart rate, you're increasing the amount of breaths that you have to take. So we wanna make sure that you're really breathing properly while you're doing this stuff, okay? So uh, I've taken most guys through supersets with this stuff. So we're doing upper body, pairing it with a lower body exercise and either add in a core exercise at the end of it or do a mobility exercise, usually one of the two, sometimes a little bit of both and then right back around to the top on those. So for example, here we had A1, A2, A3, we had split squats. We we're doing isometric holds on that. So there's bottom of the split squat and holding. Then we did uh, TRX or inverted rows and then finished off with some kneeling groin openers uh, for some hip mobility. And you circle back to the top, you have three sets of that. Then we got a B series, similar thing on that side of things. Finished off with some core work, did a couple, three exercises on that one. And then nice little cool down, doing some good stretches, working all the muscles uh, that we just hit. So usually stretching out the lats, doing bar hangs. Uh, we'll do like do uh, down dog and child's pose. Do like a pec stretch against the rack. Uh, I like the legs up the wall where you're just like laying flat on your back with your legs flat up against the wall and just letting the blood come down, letting your body breathe. And you can open up the legs out to the side. So you're out like a V and really get a good stretch in the groin, open that up. So. Anyways, I wanted to keep this video short just to give you a breakdown of what this kind of look, what this kind of looks like, and so you can start to structure your own workouts in these ways. And then all it is is just plug and play. Okay, what rollout pieces? What parts of the body do I need to roll out today? All right, uh, what parts of the body do I need to really make sure I got activated for today's workout? What's the main part of this? And then we kind of want to work backwards from there. Oh, I'm doing a lot of you know pushing stuff today. I want to make sure. Uh, that I've got my pecs activated, my shoulders activated, you know, I got all that loosened up, the traps rolled out, all that side of things taken care of. It's lower body stuff, you're gonna do more lower body, get the glutes going, get the hamstrings going, get the adductors going, make sure all that's fired up, the core is fired up, just depends on what the day is. Uh, and then making sure that really you're getting all of these pieces and not every day needs to necessarily be all of these, right? Some days it may just be more of a strength day where you're scrapping the, the power and the plyo work and vice versa, you may not have a heavy strength day, you're just doing a lot of speed plyo stuff, or it could be a recovery kind of day. Every day should be a little bit different depending on you know what your goals are, what time of the year it's at, what your training levels are, okay? Everybody's different in their training experience, so that doesn't mean everybody needs to be doing the same kind of workouts. So uh, this is a structure I like that I work off of. This isn't necessarily something that is the gold standard that everybody has to do, or you don't have a great workout routine, but this is a great place to start and you can go and start looking up different exercises to do uh, plenty of free stuff on the internet to find out what, where, what you can do for each of these kind of different categories. You may already have some stuff in mind. If you got questions on this stuff, by all means, leave a comment below. Hope this helps and we'll be diving into more helpful content like this as we keep going through in this Building Better Ballplayers series. Talk to you.